Yes, it is the Renaissance Festival where you get to step back in time, have some fun food, some fun family, entertainment, all kinds of things going on. And we got your sneak peek right here. Now, they kicked off February 5th, goes until April, right? And with yes. me now is one of the uh, juggling groups here, and you are? I am Jerome. I am the King of Fools. King of Fools. Yes. Thank goodness, because I am the Prince of Fools. Oh, good. So good. we're partnering together. I outrank you. Wonderful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's talk. This is great, because you're one of the many acts out yes, there. Yes, I am. Now, this goes through the weekends, right? Is that mostly when we see Correct. it? Correct. Every weekend. We were open on President's Day, but other than that, it's just Saturday and Sunday. So fun for everybody to come out there. And are you still allowed to come out dressed and everything like of that? Of course. We encourage it. You come out dressed like us. If you look weird and we look weird, everyone's weird <laughs> together. It's a great big weird party, and everyone has the same level of fun that way. Oh, my goodness. And, and why is this so popular? People love doing this. I think it's because of the, immers the, the true immersion of entertainment. Everyone loves to watch television. They love to play video games. But how many people love to go and be part of the show. You get to do that with us. Yeah. You go out and you're part of the village. You're one of us. You're a peasant. You're a knight. You're a king. You're a jester. You can be part of it and more just by being involved and walking through the door. Oh my goodness. Okay. Where are you located if people want to come find you? You can find me on three different stages. I am on the Royal Pavilion up in the front in the mornings and then you can find me on the Melee stage and Teatro de la Rosa at the afternoon for my dangerous bear trap juggling show. A bear trap? Yes. I oh. juggle bear traps. Do you? Oh my goodness. All right. I thought I juggled pretty good, but right? that's really awesome. So again, tell them the name of your group. Jerome, King of the Fools. There it that's is. me. All right. I like it. Yes. All right. We're talking more juggling All right. Here. This group right here many is more, amazing many more. because not only do they juggle, but they yeah. also yeah. Uh, pretty much juggle. Yeah, no, we juggle, <laughs> but also with Love and Broil, it's the comedy too, buddy. Like it's, every show is a little bit different. Every time we get on stage, you don't know where the script is going to go, but the juggling is going to get dangerous. We got knives. We got fire. We juggle kittens. Kittens? Yeah, okay. okay. Don't tell anybody, but yeah, that's that's what we were going to do here today in the studio, but they said, you guys, no kittens in the elevator. So we didn't bring them up. Fair enough. How long have you guys been doing this? We've been doing this over 20 years down there at the Arizona Renaissance Festival. Wow, that's amazing. And, and what I love is that you guys have been working together for how long? Yeah, for this, has years? Been, this has been a solid, like, this is 20 years of guys hanging out together in one trailer traveling around the country. <laughs> that is so cool. It's worked out well. And we're down there. We're London Broil Show. We have four shows a day on the Rialto stage all day. There it is. I like it. All right. I'm going to go back here because, again, I want to say right now, children, children at home, children, children and adults, please, please do not try this at home unless you have a lot of time on your hands. But right, this <laughs> is with me. <laughs> you are. I'm Lynx. I am uh, with the Link Show, I'm the sword swallower at the Renaissance. So, okay, and before you just, what got you into sword swallowing? I was bored. You're bored. Yeah, exactly. I was bored. That's, that's, that's exactly right how it starts. That's how any career starts, just when you're bored. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> and, so, and how long have you been doing this? A uh, little over 32 years professionally sword swallowing. Been at the Arizona Fair for about uh, four years now. Wow. Okay, you're going to do some for us. And again, yes. that is a real sword this that we is, have. This is not. Yeah, this is. Oh, real sword. my goodness. All right. Again. Yeah. People, do not try this at home. Here we go. And, and, and so, yep. do, I'm going to have you help me out. Just I'm going to have you out? Yeah, just doing like Okay. That. All right, I'm going to swallow it. When I grab it, when uh, I turn to you, just grab it, and then I'll lean back and you'll. And I just got to pull it out. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's okay, all, all right. Let me see. All right. Do you, all right. Oh! Oh! Okay, all right. And that's, and then I just, really? Wow! I'll tell you, that's the first for me right there. <laughs> tell them that they can find you. On this. <laughs> you can find me over at the Carnival stage. I do four shows a day, and uh, yeah, they're great shows. They start at 11:45, uh, 2, 1, 15, 2:45, and 4. Yeah. No, are you just do one sword, or have or you put a? No, button? I have all sorts of different. I've got scissors. I've got spoons. I've got oh my uh, gosh. an array of different things. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Again, do not try it at home, kids. This is so much fun. Okay, <laughs> these three gentlemen are really amazing. One, because I remember when you were just little wee kids, and now they're all grown up. Yeah. But you guys bring something cool that is actually something they used to do in the Renaissance, and, and you brought back that tradition. Actually, when they were kids, they got into this. And now you guys are having a full-flown blowing company, which is blowing, blowing a, a glass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Doing well, Brad. Let's meet the group here. You are. I'm Rob. I'm Luke. And I'm Dylan. And the name of the group is? We are Old Castle Glass. You can see us at the Art of Glass. Uh, there is a 
Renaissance Festival. We have four demonstrations every day. Uh, so Saturday and Sunday, come out and see us uh, see us work. Yeah, okay, so back when I met you guys, what got you guys into blowing glass? Was uh, Again, I know you guys see it at the Renaissance and everything, but you guys really started to really pick this up in, in high school. Yeah, right? you know, in high school we took a couple classes and we fell in love with it, and uh, then we did a very uh, traditional style apprenticeship with a, with a glass blower uh, in town, and uh, you know, became apprentices, then assistants, and then eventually full-fledged glass blowers with our very own business. That's awesome, and again, uh, you can catch them at the Renaissance. Yep. You guys, will, will you do custom work for people we too? We do custom work, and we actually made you a, a little sun catcher here. Oh, wow! Which is, uh, an example of some of the work that we have. That's cool, can, uh, so and you get these out there too? We And we make those uh, by hand out there. Everything you see here was made out there. This uh, blue glass, uh, we make specially there, so you won't see this exact color of blue anywhere else on Earth except for the Arizona Renaissance Festival at the Art of Glass. This is very cool. Well, I appreciate you guys being out here, and again, I watch these kids grow up. This is awesome to see them, <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Okay, of course you can't go to the festival without music happening, and with me is the... The, Lang the Langer's Ball. The Langer's Balls, and this is really... Now, you guys have come out to play, and so, which is really neat, you play the traditional... How can we say Renaissance music, Irish music? Irish music. Uh, traditional Irish, Irish music, music. yeah. So, this is yeah. awesome. And how long have you guys been doing this? We've been doing this 15 years. Yeah. 15 years? Yeah. Wow, and, and let me just talk. Why is the Renaissance, I asked before, why is it so popular, especially when it comes to music, and, and come to the groups that go and perform there? That's what I want to know about. Why do you guys do this? Well, it's the greatest performance venue on earth. It's, yeah. yeah everybody, fair, everybody yeah. comes out for a great time, and everybody has a great time. Right. And you guys travel around. That's the other thing, too. Because yeah. how many major Renaissance festivals are there? I have no idea. Don't know. But I, I forgot to look that up before, well, before the year. But you guys do go to most of them, right? How many do you guys usually do a year, do you we, think? We're doing, I think, seven or eight this year. Seven yeah. or eight? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So, very fun. Well, you guys are going to play a little bit for us? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so here they are. The Langer's Ball. The Langer's Ball. talking the Renaissance Festival as we gave you a sneak peek. And again, don't try any of this. Oh my goodness, at home. Oh, oh my. What a fun thing. And again, careful with the knives there. So there you go. But here goes your full screen for the Renaissance Festival. It's the 34th annual Renaissance Festival. Got to get your tickets right now at Arizona.RensFestInfo.com. And it's Saturday and Sunday now through April 3rd, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Free parking, and it's definitely worth the trip out to enjoy stepping back in time for the kids. Remember, you get some turkey legs, some all kinds of stuff and everything for you, which is fun for the whole family to enjoy and everything. So, uh, again, we're having a good time here. We should have this here every day, which is kind of fun for everybody, having a good time and dancing, which is great. But, again, how much fun can you have? Well, you got jugglers, you got all kinds of stuff happening and everything. And let me just ask you, making sure, uh, the turkey legs, are they fresh this year? They are fresh as they can be. <laughs> our entire festival is non-stop feasting, of course. Have you been to our feast out of the festival? Oh my goodness, yes I have. And good, that, good. And, and the jousting, and yes. of course, the, the, the birds of prey. I'm scared of birds, yes. but there's birds, everything going on out yeah, there. Yeah, we have birds, performing cats and rats, feasting, jousting. Oh, cats and rats? Yes, we have a show that performs with cats and rats at the same time. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. And you guys check out the bowling glass. Absolutely. Glass floors, everything, of course. You just got to be careful what you say out here, I think. All right. Of hey, you know what? Tomorrow we have another great show. Vicky's going to be here. Wally's got a car. And we got more fun. Hopefully, uh, we get our 34 topping pizza for Pie Day. We'll find out that. So, got to watch us tomorrow. Have a good day. And remember to wash your hands. Love it.